So in this video, we're going to use a paper clip to add a little tail to Spout to help to reduce some of its uh, some of his friction as he's moving around on the ground. This may uh, help improve the performance of the bot. So let's see. Um, we're going to just take a paper clip and bend it out and then cut it with our needle nose there on with a cutting section. And uh, I'm just going to try and get that tail to stick down, not quite as far as the motors, but uh, further than the, the, the back of the battery holder right now. And you can sort of make yours whatever shape you like. Um, but this basically will allow the bot to have a lot less drag on the ground. So it works pretty well when it's running over a uh, smooth surface. So again, once you've got it bent and it, and it fits pretty well between the two switches, you can uh, you know, obviously adjust it and bend it to where it's just the right height and uh, lines up perfectly. And then once you've got that figured out, you can take your hot glue gun and hot glue it in place. And I'll also use the hot glue when, when I glue this in place to hold that uh, last wire, the, uh, the yellow wire, in place too, because some of the hot glue will, will spill over onto it there. And again, there we go. Where's the hot glue gun? There it is. All right, so again, uh, you want to make sure there's a fair amount of glue on it, and you got to let it sit until the glue has turned opaque. All right, now that the glue's dry, let's try it out, see if it's any better. Ah, it's a little better. A little bit more responsive. So we can see that Spout is starting to back up a little bit better on his own. I mean, he still does need a little bit of help sometimes to get the switches to trigger so he'll, he'll back up. Next video, we're going to see if we can optimize Spout even more so he's more uh, energetic and reactive and he backs up better when he bumps into new obstacles.